All right, how about we walk through a 2022 Gray Wolf 23 DB HBL. Cherokee is very into letters. Yeah. I don't see this many letters on other. No. You know what all those letters stand for? Double bunk. Uh, black labels, the last uh, last couple there. Double bunk. Double bunk. I, I, I'm not sure what the H stands for, H. but double bunk and then black label. Okay. House. Double bunk house. Double bunk house. Oh, yeah, black labels. Sense. Okay. There okay. we go. I thought bunk house was one word, though. Yeah. yeah. Who knows? All right, so there it is, the Gray Wolf. We've gone through quite a few of these today, uh, but they're sharp, man. They are, they especially are black labels. Yeah. And this, uh, the first thing you know, uh, first way you know that these are black, black labels before you even see that is the fact that it's uh, fiberglass siding. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the, that's the biggest difference. Uh, there's a couple other options like juice packs and stuff uh, between the black label and non black labels. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, the black labels, they got the, the fiberglass exterior. And how long is this one? You, 29 feet, three inches. Okay. It's longer than I thought it was. I, I didn't look at it very closely. I just, I thought there yeah. was crazy. That it, I thought it was a smaller one than that. I thought it was crazy that it had two doors on it. But uh, you got the back door there. You can see it down there, yep. um, there to get into the bathroom. Those are always nice. I, that's, yep. that's very smart. Whoever, whoever started that. They had kids. Yeah, that, like, exactly. Like run in and out. They were yeah. messing up the floors, running in and out, <laughs> getting bugs in there. Uh, all right, so let's walk through it. <clears throat> There again is the, uh, the what do you call that? Just a luggage carrier yes. rack. Storage rack. Storage rack. Those are so nice. I mentioned yeah. earlier a couple times, I think, that we added one to the back of our SUV, and it just adds so much space. So those oh, are yeah. nice to have on the back of these things, yep. I'm sure. Double axle. Um, big thing with a lot of people. Yeah. The wheels look great, too. Yeah, blacked out like that. Yeah. All that design with the mountains and stuff. Mm -hmm. Take a look at the front end There's here. Front. You got your two propane tanks up front with the battery right behind it and the power tongue jack there as well. Yeah. All right. So we're going to, I'm assuming, get in here and take a look. Yeah. Of course, you can check out the awning. I you know we talk about the awning on every one of them, but every one I've ever walked through has an awning. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty standard. Huge dinette there. Uh, uh -huh. U dinette that folds down into a, a nice big old bed. Back up um, a little bit so we can see that. Some, some good contrasting colors with the white countertops and the, the black cabinetry. Uh-huh. I like uh, that. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like, uh, oh, I see what's going on here. They've got the, the uh, covers for the sink. That's <laughs> a funky-shaped sink, but I see what it is now. Uh, so there you go. There's a good view of the big dinette set. Of course, that'll break down into a bed. Yep. You can fit two kids there easily, yep. very easily. And then uh, put all those different floor plans. If you're interested in looking at floor plans, you can do that at rvwholesalers.com and then get the uh, build, build, build my model RV. or build my yep. RV. Yeah, you can do that yourself and get a, a quote. So there you go. There's the kitchen. Got your three burner gas, gas range there uh -huh. uh, with the oven right below it. Yeah. Uh, that looks like a decent sized sink. Yeah. Very yeah, good sized nice sink. And the cutting board. I love the cutting board as the, <laughs> at the back, as a backsplash. Right. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Just adds more room. That way you're not actually cutting on necessarily like the, uh, the, 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 those things there. You're not cutting on those. That he just touched, yeah. Yeah. And you're not cutting on the glass top of the, uh, stove. The, the stove, yeah. 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 That's good. Good amount of storage there. Uh, you got your AC up above, centralized unit. Got your double bunks there. There's the double bunks. You got your windows. Um, it does have the duct, as you can see, right there uh -huh. for the AC unit. So it'll be um, nice and cool in there. Yep. It's good. You got little little uh, switches there for the lights. You got your yeah. pantry, um, spice rack, or whatever you want to do with yeah. that. You got kids. You know kids are going to love the bunks. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm... I'm 50 years old, and I keep trying to my, talk my wife into getting bunk beds. The race car ones? So yeah, oh, that'd be either a race car bed or a bunk bed would be awesome. <laughs> yeah. So you got the, uh, the big shower there. Uh, everybody likes those waterfall style showers. Yeah, and they're and right there. There, you see there it the, is. I mean, that's the body wash. I've seen those in a lot of the, maybe it's been every black label. Yeah. It's been in. I mean, yeah, that kind of shower head. 
that's a lot of things that a lot of people don't have in their house. So, right. You got your There's entertainment center there with the fireplace directly in front of your face. Mm -hmm. There. Right there. Yeah. As if he could hear us. <laughs> right. And then two entries into yep. the uh, to the bedroom. Yep. Looks right. like we're gonna go on the right side. Get some lighting. That lighting it shows up like pretty blue. Tim yep. mentioned earlier that it's not that it's the camera shot makes that look a little more blue than actually. Yeah, is. It, it makes it nice for a reading light if right. you if you plan on reading at night. Yeah. It don't really keep you up. The white light kind of bothers you. It keeps you right. up awake, uh, at night. Plenty of storage. You got shelves <laughs> on either side, yep. maybe. Yep. Uh, plug in for your devices, and then of course right here right in there, even between those two doors is a place to put a TV. Yeah. Uh, at least most of the time. So I'm assuming yeah. it's there also. It's, it's either right there uh -huh. or right back be, behind me, right okay. here on this wall. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're, I think you're right. Cause I've seen them or I know you're right. You know more about these than I do, but I've seen, I've seen them in both places there on the wall. And then I've seen like where you can slide the doors together and then you have a, a, a bracket that kind of, yeah. yeah holds it out a little further. Yeah, I think so. on this one, it's going to be just off to the left. Uh, okay. That way. Awesome. So uh, what's the price on this? 30174 30174 Monthly payment around $235 a month. For a 29-foot RV with plenty of room for you and the kids, spouse. That's like a hotel room anymore. Yeah, yeah. Yep. You're right. For one night. Yeah. Maybe two. Probably two. Probably, maybe, yeah, maybe two if you want a, an average <coughs> hotel room. Yeah. Uh, so there you go, the 2022 Gray Wolf. Again, uh, if you're just tuning in, we're walking through RVs a little differently than we have in the past because we've got so many brand new RVs that haven't made it to dealers yet. We sent a couple guys up to walk through the RVs, get video footage of it, and then we come back here and kind of walk through it with you while we're looking at it, you're looking at it. So. It's worked out pretty good. Yeah. It's, our, it's the best way to get you uh, uh, into the brand new 2022s that aren't even on the lot yet. If yeah. you like any of these, we, I cannot stress enough, get hold of the folks here at RV Wholesalers. Put your $1,000 down. Get it ordered so that you can have this by next camping season.